Hi, I'm Rusty Allen, Education and Outreach Coordinator for North Haven Gardens, and we're going to talk some more sun perennials for you. This is one of my favorite sections because it has a lot of Texas natives in it, and it has most of these plants that are just low maintenance. I'm low maintenance, and I like the garden that doesn't need a lot of water or care, plus we get a lot of wildlife attraction. Here's one of my absolute favorites in a lot of my classes. This is Salvia Greggy, or Autumn Sage autumn sage because it blooms so beautifully in the fall. It is a true sage. It is a salvia and there are many, many colors. Here's one of my favorites, this beautiful coral color. And all of these are guaranteed to bring you hummingbirds, butterflies, and many types of bees in a garden. They'll be about two and a half feet by two and a half feet, sometimes bigger. You do a light shearing on top of the blooms in between blooms and they bloom all over again. Lots and lots of rewards. Here's a newer one to me that I've been enjoying. This is cat mint, not catnip, but cat mint. And these make beautiful mounds depending upon the variety of this lush green foliage, little blue cast to it that I like very much, and lavender purple flowers all summer long. I've seen these that the cities are using in their, in their commercial landscapes too. And they do beautifully bringing different kinds of bees to a garden. Again, this is a wonderful perennial in a drought situation, full sun all day long, very good drainage, and you get many rewards all summer long. Here's one that I'm telling you in my garden, I didn't have to do a thing to, and with all that cold weather, it didn't do anything. It just simply was not touched. And in full sun and good drainage, this is a sedum that I'd love you to have. This is Reflexum. Blue spruce is usually the cultivar name you'll see on them. Nice and low. It really doesn't get too much taller than this, but it will creep and grow through a perennial border and look lush like this year round. It's a true evergreen and always stays nice and low. Perfect for the front of a border. Here's another one that's at the front of my border, and that's pink skullcap. Now this one's not native either, but it's really what I call an honorary native because it does everything for us and is very, very tough. Drought tolerant again, full sun, good drainage, and you'll get this mound of flowers in this pink color. Mine usually gets to be about almost two feet by two feet, low and covered in flowers that bring pollinators. An excellent, excellent plant. Here's one that's in the back of my border, and that's Russian sage. Not a true sage, and really not Russian, but it has this lavender look to it. Some people say, I have difficulty growing lavender. Well, we can help you with that, but if you like the lavender blooms like this for something tall in the back of a garden, really going to about three to four feet high, Russian sage is an excellent choice. I like it. It fills back spaces in my garden and just really guaranteed to bring different kinds of pollinators. I see lots of types of bees on my Russian sage. And here's a classic. It's been around a long time and that's cannas. And the reason why I like cannas is because these exotic flowers that are here, there's many colors and varieties of them, including colored foliage, but it's these big broad leaves that offer some relief in a garden space. Now this one's not as drought tolerant. We'd like to have some more moisture for it. It actually grows in wet areas too. And you get these wonderful flowers mostly through the summer. You can deadhead by simply removing these stalks and it will go to the ground and then come back again, much like a bulb does year after year and then slowly spread. This is a plant that's again super super tough and one you should include in your garden. If, you, if you'd like a list of some of our favorite perennials for sun, we have our top 20 perennials for sun handout for you. It's available online at nhg.com under education and also available in store. Come see us, come see this large selection of sun perennials. You'll find these very rewarding. We'll help you get them growing.